Well, good afternoon. Uh, appreciate everyone uh, coming today and uh, good opportunity just to share with you a little bit of how our football team uh, is doing here after five practices. Um, I know you hear some of those comments about, uh, you know, are your, is your team buying into what you're trying to get accomplished? Uh, I really have sensed that uh, as of the first day. I think that came from the leadership as far as our strength staff in the off season. Uh, and, and I got to give a lot of credit to the seniors. Uh, they're the ones that's going to help move this program forward in a faster way as far as our seniors uh, doing things on the leadership uh, side of it, but also on the football field. And uh, we only got 15 of them, and so those people there are going to have to be very instrumental in what we're trying to get accomplished. Uh, now they can also now teach the younger guys as they come in and uh, what that number is going to be eventually, how many is going to play. After Saturday, uh, we're going to have a little better sense of maybe some guys who we anticipate to have a better chance to be able to play for us this season. I think at that time we'll have a better idea of who some guys can stand out. All right, man, you see we're doing media day right now. We got guys lined up to take their video shots. Everybody adding on their little flavor to the pictures and everything. Got my boys over here, what's up, man? What's up, bro? I'm finna get you with the roast. You know I'm saying? We got my boy T-Pat up here right now, AKA Chris Brown, you know, taking his shot. We got uh, the dad off Roseanne, John Goodman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got Keith, we got uh, Keith Augustino up. He, he, he kind of look like Danny Glover. We got uh, Larry the Cable guy taking this uh, photo right now. Justin Carnes. You good? Who styled, who styled your hair for the uh, media day? Me. Oh, OK. You, just, you been rocking it like that? Oh, I been rocking it. 90s hairstyle and stuff? Yeah, you know. It's, it's decent. You only like 17, ain't you? Oh. Uh, I'll be 19. Oh, you be 19? Okay. I'm just saying. Somebody told me uh, you got the same stylist as Justin Bieber. That's all I mean, Justin Bieber gets the ladies, so <laughs> I, mean, I get the ladies. All right, hey. I ain't know Bieber was in right now. I thought Chris Brown was still in or something. I mean, that look at me now video pretty hot. So. <laughs> I feel you, bro. After a day off, the Jayhawks begin their first of three two-a-day practices. At two hours each, the days are both mentally and physically demanding. Although the schedule may not cater toward rest, the extra time on the field allows for more individual attention. Hustle, hustle. Hey guys, partner up every two and a half yards, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Let's go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Everybody's out here today to get better, okay? Everybody get better today. You got me? Pick one thing and get better at it. You got me? Elbows in, elbows in. Come on, get there, get there, get there with ease. Get there with ease. Moving forward. Let's go work on catching the ball, moving forward. Every time we catch the ball, we're moving forward with the ball. Here we go. Get to where you're supposed to be, and I'll give you a break. But you got to move fast, all right? We don't want to be walking around anywhere. you got to set a tempo. You practice speed when other teams don't, all right? Between stations, between reps, that's where you get your edge. That's why we move fast, okay? Don't guess, John. Hey, one more time. Okay, we're gonna say it again, okay? I, I'm seeing a, way too many numbers. Okay, I should see the top of your shoulder pads. I shouldn't see your numbers. I'm your backer, AJ, and you better bring it, man. You better bring it. Come on! Cut it, go cut it, get low, yeah, get low! Yeah, thumbs up, all right? Elbows in. Oh, that's a money ball. Loser got five push-ups. Huh? I benched 240. Oh, this ain't bad? You benched 240? 340. Oh. I was about to say, you said 240, son. My son can match you up. Fit your hands. Run your feet. Run your feet. There you go. There you go. There you go. I see you, Keister. I see you, Keister. That 340 ain't mean nothing. That 340 ain't mean nothing. Oh, bag one, Malcolm none. Here we go. Yeah, you got to stay low. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Push, push. Push. Good. In and out. In and out. He don't like you, DP. Come on, catch it at his highest point. Yeah, you're breaking the quarterback. Hey, once you get outside, you can get your eyes back on the quarterback. He's going to tell you where the ball's going. All right, not bad. Hey, the only thing I'd like to see more of is as you shuffle your feet, keep that right, that outside hand locked out so the blocker won't get back into you, okay? So if I'm playing you and I separate, Okay, if I do this, he's gonna come back at me. But if I keep the pressure on him as I shuffle, he can't get it back into my body, so he can't block me. No, yeah, no, you caught it, and you were going like this. I want you catching it, and you're going here, going forward. 
Does that, does that make sense more than that? Okay, okay, all right. Every day is a grind. You know, lifting weights, back to football, watch film, back to football, go to sleep, back to football. Of course, it's kind of easy to, when you get to the middle, get tired and feel sorry for yourself. But this team here, we decided that we're going to finish just as strong as we started. That's what this camp is doing for us, you know, as far as physically and mentally. We walk around with a chip on our shoulder, you know, everybody's competing, everybody's willing to go the extra mile to get that spot, you know, and, and anytime you have that on the team, it's always a good thing. You know, you got the ones battling the twos, twos battling the ones, and this scrimmage, we can open up the offense, a book, the plays and everything, so this scrimmage is extremely important. I'm going to turn it over to these guys and let them go here. You're going to have some fun. Welcome these guys in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Want to become very successful. How many like to get to the NFL one day? You how many like to make a lot of money one day? You're the fast track guys in the room. Key statement, when you learn to do more than you're asked to do, you're going to eventually get paid for more than what you do. Always get in the habit of doing what? More. And you're going to have to do more this year, right? So what I want you to doing more right now, I want you to tell the person next to you, it's time to win. Tell them next to you, come on. It's time to win. 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 It's let me ask you right now. How many like the $20 bill? How many would 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 like the $20 bill? Give them a hand. Give them a hand. guys where we don't really like to talk about problems we have or anything, you know, we want to stand out and be the guy who can stand on his own. Um, some problems may have been like family problems or, you know, dealing with success or something like that. And You know, the atmosphere wasn't the same as a meeting, you know. They got us to talk, they got us to, to say things and speak about things that we normally wouldn't say. So being able to hear from every other player what, what their experiences have been like and what they deal with really helped to break down those walls and realize that we are here for each other. The more time spent together, the more understanding of Coach Gill's vision has helped pull us together as a team instead of push for individuals to fight for what they think's right and what they want out of the season. Is there something bigger than you? Yes. Team, yes. is it the team? Yes. The team. All right there, Earl, close them out. I, mean, I thank those guys for coming because I feel as though, you know, all the dancing and the partying we did and the Soul Train line, it was fun. and. It allowed us as a team to become closer, and I mean, I can ultimately, you know, help us on the field. And that, and that strong bond it is hard to break when you got a team pushing forward to one goal. Heart KU. Linda. I think that says 91, but I'm not sure. Smile, one more class, and then I'm done. I heart sugar. <laughs> That's what that actually says. Oh, I just tend to count the number of springs on the bottom of this table. Do you count them? No, but I try to make them come off all the time. My last time in a dorm, hopefully for the rest of my life. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, I just gotta walk downstairs and I'll never have to be back <laughs> in this place for the rest of my life. <sighs> Most people th tend to sleep on beds. My roommate makes a fort like a child. He's been there. Fort Naismith, four years running, can't beat it. Put down, Put down his shade. Which makes me happy because I don't have to see him. 
you know, packing up uh, the bag, packing up some clothes, and I realized that I came with three three outfits, and I only wore one. It's kind of disappointing. Camp was 11 days. <laughs> 11 days long. You outfits. guys do the math. <laughs> we should probably burn those clothes. Instead of packing, I find it's easier to just buy a pack of clothes, and that way you have a fresh shirt every day. I'm turning over a new chapter, new leaf. Turning over a new leaf, moving on to a new chapter in my life. It, uh, better for it. Oh, the tea hawk. Messing with Hawkinson. Messing with Sasquatch. <laughs> Messing with Hawkinson. He's uh, 22, almost 22 years old. Drives a scooter around. Um, and it's not even a fancy scooter. It's pretty much a bare bones scooter. You have a bunch of metal, no flash, and then just a crappy old engine. Kind of fits Tim. That's kind of like how Tim is. Not a lot of flash, but it'll get the job done. I think he's currently eating a muffin at the same time while driving. Not very safe. Don't do this at home, kids. Happy to be leaving Naismith. It's been a good run, good start of camp. It'll be nice to be in our own beds, but that means it gets harder. The grind gets harder because they expect more from us because we're not locked away. Got to finish up camp strong. Let's do it. Jump. Yesterday that board drill, I want to tell you something. Oh. They want to put, they want to do us in a double hitter. How about that? Colin, the drill's over. I said this is the last one, right? And Colin Garrett said, no, I want to go one more. And so I said, now who you want to go against? He said, Brandon Burber. So I'm thinking, you know, if a guy call you out like that, he can really get after you. So then I say, no, we can go again, but we're gonna put Nick on you. So that's kind of like putting a big brother on you. Enough said. Huh? But Nick, you know what? You did win the first one, so that's all right. <laughs> I mean, I ain't mad at him. Right, Josh? Right. He's officially retired. Okay, here we go, team. Defense is about playing with your guys staying here on fire. We're talking about the defense is played with a great intensity, and you got to be a mean son of a gun. All right? You can be civil around campus, all right? Sometimes I'm not as concerned about having good old choir boys. I want some renegades sometimes on that field, all right? They run around, they don't care if it hurts to hit somebody hard. Because the pain that you might feel, that other side's gonna feel it twice as much because you're the hammer, not the nail. We need to increase the intensity of our defense. Our mindset needs to be so much more, in my opinion, intimidating and aggressive. Play hard. If you can't go, put your hand up. We'll get somebody in for you today. Play hard and fast. Play with great intensity. There's a difference between emotion and intensity, and hope y'all can understand the two. You play defense being intense, and you get after somebody, and you try to hurt them. If that back doesn't want to stick his face in the hole because he don't get his butt kicked, that's the mindset we've got to have. All right? We're not there yet. As a unit, you gotta be intense and you gotta be intimidating. And that's what we expect from you. All right, let's go get the rest of the ready to play a little bit.
Amen. Amen. All right, just uh, first thing I'll go out here, got the punt team up. Got their first unit. I think Coach uh, Stan will handle that as far as uh, who needs to be out. Big day for a lot of guys here. So we're going to have to make some decisions here tomorrow. Of course, kind of some things of who on the depth chart, per se. It'll be really our first depth chart uh, as we come in on Monday. Okay? Bring it on up here. Let's go, man. Let's go, team. On three. One, two, three. Here we go. All right, hey, listen. Come on. Let's get after their tail right now. You guys up front. Handle it, all right? Let's go right here. Let's go. Let's go right here. I thought yesterday overall, and I looked at it and last night and a little bit this morning again, not all of it, but I thought the, both sides of the ball did some good things. Uh, definitely was impressed to see our defense respond on the short yards and goal line. And, you know, I like to see our offense made some plays. Uh, play guys had play opportunities and big plays. Good to see the deep balls being thrown. But I think there's definitely uh, been improvement in our football team. We just got to keep moving forward. Keep on working. And I think our guys are good and focused. Uh, they are. Uh, uh, I think there's definitely a difference in leadership in this football team compared to last year. And there's definitely have been some things that you as coaches have implemented into your players by position. Uh, I think all of us have talking to our guys. I think they've taken amongst themselves some some things. Uh, I know Big John and your staff and, and Murph, your staff. I mean everybody you know, without this whole football program. I think is really got engaged with our players and, and I see some of that fruition coming to surface is how they're coming in with each other and talking and, and, and taking amongst themselves and starting to see those signs again we all don't know how that all is going to add up to, to your W's but but we know we're heading in the right direction that's that's the key that's all you can control is uh, we move in the right direction moving forward and our team is getting better I mean, not just from the football part of it but all those other little intangibles behind the scene and, and stepping up and, and holding each other accountable. That's what I see, that's what I feel, and that's what I sense. And uh, that, that's, that's, that's what we got to do and head in the direction of making sure this football program is a, is a winning football program.